Well, hello everyone, Dylan here with my, here with a, a new recent Indiana Jones review, and this one's on the Fireplane Chase, which that is now being released, of course. So on the front of the box here, we have the Lego Indiana Jones logo and that nice new border, which which kind of similar to the original 2008-9 border, but instead of in film version Indiana Jones, instead just the minifigure version Indiana Jones, which I think kind of a good nice touch to it. But then of course the rest of which kind of the same as the original sets borders. And then the picture of both vehicles in uh, chase positioning. <coughs> and all the three minifigs included. And age recommendation is 8 and up. Set number 77012 has 387 pieces. And on the back side, which you can see the two uh, vehicles in position uh, side by side by each other and a few scenes of both the components of the set and also the one feature of it and that's it with that <coughs> and now onto the instruction manual of which which kind of that same plain artwork style that they've been doing since last year last summer but yeah and see how they're turning over to paper bags, add for the builder app on the back side of which, how to win on the online survey, then all the pieces that come with the set, which is three things, and the last step for it. First off are the three minifigs included. <clears throat> First of which is an all new updated and exclusive version of Indiana Jones himself, as you see. The of which kinds also all the prints of which kinds similar to what we have with the a few of the ex or original 2008-9 versions, but and of course the only thing that is all new is his hair hat combo piece, which looks very good for this. And of course the whip here, of which same as the original versions, and all of the face print of which just the same as in the uh, Mummy Tomb set uh, does well, and but also we which get. Professor Henry Jones Sr. And, and as he, he kind of similar to his original 2008 version, but of course the face printing of uh, which nicely updated for that, and head and hat piece of which just the same as from that original version, but still well works out of course. And then last of which is the fireplane pilot here, which with kind of similar printing to the previous version, but the other two of which not at all need like printing, kind of weird for modern day minifigs. And of course, the like uh, hack goggle piece for that, quite the same as they've been for a long, long time. And then onto the back sides of both of them. At least this new update indeed does have a double side face, so of course, and uh, not the other two. Of course, but all the all the back torso printing on both of them looks good for how it is, and for this me fig selection, uh, still quite good for how it is. But yeah, <clears throat> and then next to which for the one side build in this set, it is this little sign here, where you have the corner plate piece, and then also this uh other pole-like piece that does have a like base part on stuck to it and of course a hanging bracket and telescope holding the sign pieces saying the tunnel ahead sign and also the sign that says Berlin going that way and of course have a little plant piece representing one of the various plants in the 
like jungle or desert setting that it's in. But yeah. And that is it. This song died bill. And now on to the first of the builds, this car. Or the good like car. As you can tell, it was quite a good build for how it is. And also, plenty of good interesting pieces used throughout here. And also, kind of similar to the, uh, and also, kind of the same vibe as the cars that we got in the uh, 2009 uh, Shanghai Chase set. But of course, with some modern designs and other features of it. Like for this front part of the car. Which, as you can see, does have this calming uh, grill uh, when you have uh, slope like pieces there, and also a jumper used on the front bumper part. And in very neat use of pieces are, are these this snot technique using those pieces, which were the uh, BB 8. Uh, head pieces with clear studs on them used as high headlights. So I, that I think great use of that. And of course for the uh, car rim pieces which kind of similar to like other ones that we have but a little bit wider and all which kind of nice to see there. And of course throughout that this recent railing kind of piece used for the windshield of course and along the side of which have a couple of studs out to for minifigs to stand on and also a, a tile with a sticker with the door on it. Although I think those could have been could have worked out as actual doors, but whatever. And as for these back part of which oh as you can tell, this have this has a little area that's coated with Various tiles and L tiles, of course. There's and a little plate behind, and it does have and of course enough space to fit this trunk and suitcase in. And also can reach both of them out. And as for in this suitcase, in or in this case of it, or trunk case, kind of which we've been seeing for a little while can open this up and then there's both a small pistol, well old style pistol and uh, or revolver pistol and a uh, little umbrella piece. Nice to see there. And like slip that in with those two studs on there. And also enough to slide the suitcase in. And they do fit quite snugly. And if you turn it upside down, just the suitcase would fall out. At least this, which doesn't fall out quite easily, good plus for that. <clears throat> and as for the back side of which, of which with a little uh, behind snot technique going on, and of course with the large circular tile, of which representing the spare tire, of course. There's and of course a couple of reverse stud or or inverted curved plate or slopes. Used for the back bumper winch tonight, and also forgot to mention oh, hang on. And of course, right in there, bolt steering wheel, and also a couple of jumper plates enough to sit both of Indy and Henry Jones Sr. in two, of which great. Of which, unlike with some car sets where they barely do much room in there, but at least this of which does well for that. And of course, like most of which, does roll around quite well for that. Of which, really nice for that. So that's about it with this car set. Now onto the fighter plane itself. 
which as you can see this was one part of the original fighter plane attack set from 2009 where which had this and also the biplane of it but kind of weird how just this has part was remade but although the biplane can work out as a separate set well if it ever does but yeah. And, uh, so now from front or from front to back so first now we which have this little technic bit which has the few uh, paddle or pieces but used as propeller blades and does spin well and of course a little uh, technic gear in there representing the workings of it And also that car uh, rim piece. This play of course is used as the front part section. You know. And if you notice this curved slope piece, which has a sticker on it, there's quite a lot of stick quite a few stickers in this set. <coughs> and also do have some of the, like minifig positioning kind of pieces but in solid gray representing exhaust pipes which nice use of that piece and of course plenty of snot going down the sides of it and also this little cylinder kind of piece above which representing the canopy of it and with a large sticker on it and also you can like take it all right off and see the mini a car windshield piece on there to finish it up. And if you look right inside of it, have a little uh, joystick there, and also plenty of brown pieces on there representing a seat or used as a seat. And you can like uh, sit your pilot minifig up into there and uh, close it on him. Very nice, which nice to see there. And as for and as for the wings here, which as you can see, which do you have a little slope on there, also with a sticker, or on obviously, and a couple of curved pieces going outwards with those simple with those usual kind of plate pieces, which we usually see on like like the center parts of X wings in Star Wars, but yeah. And also to get one of the newer style stud shooters that when you tap on it can shoot off like so. <coughs> and of course, and one of the fe main features of this set is that obviously you can like, like pull the wings right off for that. And have a couple of clear red studs in there, of which representing the flames that are coming off of it, of course. And they which are connected on by mixel ball joints. And also got one of those uh, uh, curved top brick pieces uh, to obviously represent the uh, roundness for it to pop off easier. And of course, you got a couple of Technic pieces on here, and also a little, couple of little wheels for the landing gear, obviously. And that's for the farther back side to flinch. And you have the newer style uh, flame piece on there, represent, still representing the uh, wing breaking off part, of course. And then the farther back of which does have a couple of jagged slopes to make it a more complete look. And, and of course, a couple. Corner bricks to finish it all off there, and a little tile with a sticker on it, of course. And that was for the uh, tail flap, tail wing parts, which simple plates used on there, and also a couple of slope pieces for the tail fin piece. And of course, in the movie, it is supposed to be red with the Nazi symbol on it, but of course, Lego can't do Nazi stuff, so. This is which quite good as is. And of course, underneath the which does have 
one of those cart like pieces and an extra wheel on there representing the back part landing gear. <clears throat> and so now on to the final verdict. So overall, I think this is a, a pretty good set for how it is. Like, get plenty of good uh, vehicles, or two good vehicles that have good rolling features, and also good swooshability, well, for the fire plane, of course. And also three quite good mini figs for that. Like the updated India, which looks very good, or almost a little bit better than the, his original 2008-9 versions. But whereas... And what's kind of, although what's quite mysterious about this set is, like, why just the fire plane and the car? Although the car part would have been fair as its own separate set, but, or maybe as of now, the, uh, as I said earlier, the biplane can work out as a separate set anyways, but yeah. Even though it and the biplane work together in the original 2009 version of the set, but at least this it would still quite fair as is, as in any part. There's plenty of good te building techniques on both of the vehicles, and kind of weak side wheel with the sign, of course. <coughs> Although the uh, tail fin part of the plane, I think, could have worked out in red, even without the Nazi symbol, but whatever. And also, as for the price for piece, or size and price of which this is which quite good for thirty five dollars there's even though uh thirty would have been fair enough but at least kind of but of course it's forty can expect much well, of course can expect kind of a bit but yeah well although forty would have been a little much but thirty five still kind of fair but yeah and so now if you are looking to get this set, then definitely pick this up. And if you are looking to, or, or if you don't want to bother with the original 2009 version of the fire plane, fighter plane set, well, also definitely pick this up. And that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.